smallest state capital in the country belongs to Louisiana, but down the road rests the old state capital, a feat of artistic design and great mystery. There's a big fence around it. It sits on almost four acres of land. It's imposing, it looks like a castle. So sometimes people are, they're just hesitant to come, period. And then when they come in, the kids, that's one of the first questions we get. <gasps> Is it haunted? <laughs> oh, the kiddos. <clears throat> but I digress. This castle was built in 1850 and survived two fires, once during the Civil War and once in 1906 when electricity was installed. Perhaps equally electrifying are the accounts of staff workers. But if the door takes a little while to close, then suddenly you hear it slam. Uh, we have had security guards who've said, They've seen motion detectors go off and that kind of thing. Many of the great decisions of the age were once debated here by men who have come and gone. <laughs> well, most of them. You can still feel the spirits of the people who served here, the people who so wanted great things for Louisiana. I mean, think about the tremendous speeches that must have been given in the House and in the Senate chambers. Those are the spirits that I feel in the building. And the one that, that we get most often is about Senator Pierre Cuvion. The senator was believed to have died of a heart attack in the heat of argument. However, he did not die in the Capitol. Instead, he was at home in bed proof that you shouldn't take work home with you. On the lawn outside is the imposing majesty of a great oak tree, but other things used to be there. There was a beautiful 40-foot pond that was there, and when they drained the pond, they found a lot of very interesting things. Most importantly, they found a body. 